In a long-anticipated move, the Indian Air Force has finally unveiled its upgraded Sukhoi Su-30 MKI variant in 2025, signaling a new chapter in India's aerial dominance. After years of delays, negotiations, and technological refinements, this upgraded multi-role fighter is now fully operational and represents a massive leap forward from its original design. The Su-30 MKI has long been the backbone of the Indian Air Force known for its agility, endurance, and adaptability. But as threats continue to evolve and newer generation fighters enter the skies, the need for a modernization was critical. What's now being called the Super Sukhoi is not just a marginal upgrade, it's a near-complete overhaul of sensors, avionics, weapons, and mission capability. One of the most significant upgrades is the integration of an ESA radar system, replacing the legacy Anderowon Olayam Bars radar. This allows for far greater detection range, target tracking, and electronic counter-countermeasures. With this new radar, the aircraft can simultaneously track multiple aerial and ground-based threats, making it far more lethal in modern combat scenarios. Another major leap is in the Su-30 MKI's electronic warfare suite. The 2025 variant comes with a fully integrated DRDO developed jammer and self-protection system. This significantly boosts survivability in contested airspace, particularly against radar-guided threats and beyond-visual-range missiles. Equally, impressive is the new glass cockpit with fully digital avionics. The modern interface offers better situational awareness, quicker data processing, and the ability to operate in network-centric warfare environments. This aligns with India's goal of achieving real-time battlefield coordination across its tri-services. And let's talk about weapons. The new Su-30 MKI is now equipped to carry the Astra Mk-2 and Mk-3 air-to-air missiles, extending its reach and kill probability. It's also been modified to carry the BrahMos-A supersonic cruise missile, giving it devastating precision strike capabilities at standoff ranges. This makes the aircraft not just a dogfighter, but a platform capable of strategic deep strike missions. Another noteworthy aspect of the 2025 launch is the increased use of indigenous components. More than 60% of the upgraded systems are now made in India, a direct result of the Atmanirbar Bharat initiative. From radar components to mission computers and even cockpit displays, India has drastically reduced its reliance on foreign suppliers, especially from Russia. What's also interesting is that the Indian Air Force isn't just upgrading the current fleet. HAL has resumed full-scale production of the upgraded Su-30MKI with a target of delivering dozens of new units by 2030. This dual track...